who pulls from where and what, and uh, where can you gain extra support to go from that 40% to, you know, 50 plus one? Well, first of all, you know, this is assuming obviously she's, she stays in, right? And you don't need yeah. But I do think that once we have a fully effective campaign, we're running campaign commercials, we're defining her, we're defining myself, and we our name ID is not high, but our favorables are high. We're going to work on that. Number two, we have a lot of other places we can actually, quote unquote, pull from. You know, the uh, average age of a Latino in Arizona is 25. Uh, and never in the history of Arizona has there been a young bilingual, well-funded Latino who has grassroots support running in Arizona. And we're going to work that and we're going to work it like it's nobody's business. And we're going to have margins there that people have not seen ever in Arizona. And they're never going to go for a cinema and they're certainly not going to go for any of the Republicans, no matter who they, they put pull up. Number two, I think at the end of the day, whatever independence she does have in terms of support, once they understand how she works for Wall Street, once she understands how she works for the pharmaceutical uh, industry, once they understand uh, you know, how she didn't stand with us in defending democracy, uh, I don't see that her getting much of that independent leaning Democratic support. And then for Republicans, uh, you know, we're not going to be able to win uh, many Republicans. But for those Republicans that believe uh, in you know, national security, that believe in democracy, they're not going to take their chances. <laughs> on a person like Kirsten Sinema, who probably has no chance of winning. They want to make sure they stop uh, whatever Republican uh, they put up, which is going to be someone just a total wackadoodle, just to be honest. There's really no other way to, to put it. Uh, most likely an election denier. Uh, and uh, when we start making uh, the case for that, there's a lot of very much uh, national security. They're going to look at me, look at my history, both on the Armed Services Committee, uh, but also in terms of defending our country as a Marine and even on January 6th. I think they're going to look at that and say, you know, this is much more important than electing an election denier. And all that will put us into a very strong victory.